Good morning, Floss Tube. Hi, how are you? It's Helen, um, East Coast Crafter on Instagram. Um, it's Friday. I should have looked at the date. September something. Um, it has been so long since I made a video that I am more than a little out of practice. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I hope everyone had a great rest of summer. I think the last time I made a video was at the beginning of August, uh, right before my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law came in to visit. And then we got through August. School finally started this week. So we're getting back into our routine. Um, my son is in fourth grade this year, so he's so far so good, having a great year. I've been getting the house back together, what I've lost in the house over the summer so we're back um, I made notes last night and it's we got two pages so this might be a little longer than usual I made coffee this for this one pumpkin spice in my skunk mug so grab a cup of coffee I have a lot to share and a lot to show first thing <clears throat> excuse me I haven't I don't talk a lot when it's just me so then when I get down to talk to you guys I get be a little flummy sometimes. We're in a different location today. Um, one of the big projects we did over the summer was we switched. We have a three bedroom house and there's only us and my son. So we switched his room. He was in the bigger room. When we moved in, we thought, oh, we'll give him the big room. Um, and then the smaller room was the office. My husband sometimes works from home. So he has a computer and things set up in there. And we had an extra bed for when family comes and we still had this bed, so why not? So we thought if we switch them, he will be in a different space um, that will be a little warmer. It's a smaller space, but it's a cozier space because the room that I'm in now has two windows, two walls against the outside of the house. So this is the coldest room in the house, especially in the winter. Where he is now, there's only one because it's kind of in the middle. So he's he loves it. It's all set up. It... Um, it looks so grown up, like it's a grown up room. So I'm in this space. So I'm sitting with my husband's stuff in front of me. And then this will be, I'm knocking things over. This will be my space in the back. So we have a big double closet. Don't open that, it's a mess. And then I have a cabinet for over here. This ancient chair that the cat's ripped up um, is still the cat's chair, so I left that. I posted a picture yesterday and a couple people said, um, oh, there's no spot for the cats. Please, those cats are work. Until two minutes ago, Emmy was on the table. I'll spin you around. Pepper was in that window. She's now, there's her butt. She's now over here sniffing the printer. So if you hear that kick on, she's making photocopies of her butt. And Emmy is <clears throat> up where she shouldn't be on top of a cabinet so she'll jump down too so they they're fine <laughs> I did tell my husband I'd like to get like a cat tree that will sit right at the height of the window for them we put a cat bed in here you know they ignore that so we're testing this one out I can see the light you know I've got to figure out how I want the angle to be so that things aren't completely washed out um, but I have my there's my sewing machine I don't have to haul everything downstairs. I used to take my big cutting mat and put all my stuff on it, or what I thought was all my stuff on it, fold it in half, carry it down to the kitchen table, haul everything out down there. There's cats everywhere, there's no doors, and then I'd forgotten something, right? So you have to go back upstairs and get what you forgot. So I've only finished one thing so far in this room, um, but it was so nice to just have everything where where I need it and if I had forgotten something I just grab it so so far so good that wall obviously needs some stuff on it um, but I was telling my husband I don't I don't really have a lot of pieces that are just random things that I like I, I tend to stitch a lot of seasonal things because until now the space that I had to put them out with was in the dining room um, or downstairs so I did a lot of seasonal things so they could be swapped out um, and then I did the nerd wall which was all kind of like their things there's some princess bride things in there and I love Harry Potter so those are my things um, 
but I didn't have a lot of just random things because I wanted to stitch them or I like the way they look. So when I finish Into the Jungle this year and the Guardians of Notre Dame, those are both perfect for this space because they're kind of things I wanted to stitch that I thought I would enjoy doing and I have. They wouldn't really fit anywhere else in the house, so they can be on this wall. Um, oh, Pepper's now in her bed. We'll tip you down. Where is she? There she is. That's not her. I don't even know. That's not even her. That was like my stuff. She's over there on the floor. Trust me. You have to trust me. Um, so I think we'll get started. I'm five minutes in. I'm just babbling and drinking my coffee. I stitched a lot in August. I stitched so much in August, I hurt my arm. <laughs> um, Right before September 1st, I'm like, oh, my arm hurts. And I don't know if it's some tendonitis or I just, where it hits on the side of my chair. So it's been bothering me, which has been a problem because I have plans and I need to get to them. So I stitched so much I hurt my arm. I'm sure it happens to all of us. I hope not, but I'm sure it does. So I have one FFO. I just finished this one up this week. This is... Country Cottage Needleworks pie menu. And I had bought this frame, this chalkboard earlier, it's gone on a little pedestal, earlier this year at Michael's. I'm not sure if they still have them. <clears throat> um, so I just put it on the magnets, it's just stuck on there. And it's the perfect size. I did this on an 18 count, it's platinum. Um, and then just put some blue behind it. So now I need to figure out what I'm stitching for. I know what I'm stitching for Christmas to put on there. And then I know what I'm stitching for spring and I had the watermelons on there in summer. So I need to figure out winter. Um, I have a couple ideas, so we'll see. Keys are in my pocket. We'll see what I come up with. So that was my one FFO. I have a lot of FOs that I need to be FFOing soon because I wanted to get all my fall stuff done and it's done but to me this is fall decorating season and none of it's out yet so we will jump in I don't have anything to put behind these <clears throat> so this one is and I didn't bring any of the patterns because they were done this is Bent Creek's Harvest um, this one has like a section below it with some leaves in it which is very pretty but I left that off because I found this little display thing at Joann's and if I had left that off this will eventually fit right in there um, this one I think I can finish up today hopefully if I have enough sticky board or foam core or whatever I can find um, to stick that in there so I can set that one out. So I got that one done and this whipped up real quick. I love Bent Creek. When I was reorganizing a little bit in here and I went through my charts, I realized I have the most Lizzie Kate, probably because when she announced her retirement, you know, like everyone else, we kind of stocked up on what we thought we might need. I have a lot of Lizzie Kate, a lot of Bent Creek, and a lot of Prairie Schooler. Those are probably my top three. Um, the next one is Heartstring Samplery. This is A is for Acorn. And this is another one. I can never tell with the focusing here. I don't know why this doesn't focus. Nope, never wants to. Um, A is for Acorn. This is on Picture This Plus Ale. And I just pulled floss from what I had. I think it was like four colors, two greens, two browns. Um, this one I chose specifically because my mom had bought me that clock. Um, she picked it up at Hobby Lobby last year and I thought I could take the hands of it off and finish something in it. And then when I pulled it out yesterday to do that, oh, the sun's right on me over there. Um, that's crazy getting all blown out. I couldn't get the hands off the clock 
And when I looked at it, it like totally matched everything else I had on my shelf. So now it's a clock. <laughs> now I don't have anything to finish the acorn piece with. I'm sorry to keep messing with this, but that sun is bothering me. Let's see how that goes. The next one I finished, um, this is the one I think I hurt my arm on because I was trying to get it done. And now this one's going to be all dark. This is a Bent Creek. This is called Sneak Peek Autumn. And it's a series of three charts that I had picked up on Stash Unload. And I did this on Vintage Country Mocha. I thought I had a piece that this would fit on to finish it, but it's the wrong size. Boop. Sorry, my finger, I'm trying to get that to not blow out. So I need to work on finding something to finish that on because um, I want it up for fall. So those are the finishes for August, which I thought was a lot. And then I've started two things. Um, the first one I started because I, I kind of was looking at what I had going and I thought, well, if I want fall stuff done to put out this year for fall, I need to start that. So I picked out my top fall pieces and then I thought, you know, do those real quick. And then I had two Halloween pieces. One is a new start that I did. The other one um, was one of my whips. It's a prairie schooler. It's on even weave and it was giving me so much trouble because it's on even weave and I'm just not an even weave or linen stitcher because it's so hard for me to see it. It's one of the little small ones. I think it's double doubles, the two witches with the cauldron. It was taking and still is taking <laughs> forever. And if I were doing that on Ada, I'd have busted that thing out in like a week. So I haven't pulled it back out yet to work on. It is at least out of the closet. So we'll see if that gets done. This is the one I am working on. This is Silver Creek. It's called Scary Things September Brings. So that one I started. This is on um, Mystery Ada. I think I got this out of a Fiberlicious grab bag. It was just the right size. It's got these spooky colors in it, so I thought it would be perfect. Only problem, it calls for this nice, and that's just a DMC, green. I've swapped the colors out just with what I had. Um, this fabric has some, it's green. It's a greenish tint. I can't get any greens to show up enough on this fabric. So I'm kind of at a standstill until I figure that out or I move down and work on the pumpkin. So this one may get done in time for this year. It's not a very large pattern. I mean, I only worked on it a couple days and I got those two rows done. So I just need to figure that out. And then the other one I worked on or started um, is another new start and I didn't bring the chart because you've all seen it. September 1st, this is my start on Tis the Season. I'm using, I changed my colors a few times of my fabric and I had one picked out that was a gray and it was beautiful, but it was a bigger count and it would have been really large. So I went through again and I found this little scrap. This is, um, picture this plus dwarf. This is the scrap I had left over when I finished Frosty Forest on like the 18 by 27 and I squared it off to be 18 by 18. This is the remaining fabric and it was the perfect size. So I'm not using Nancy's. Um, I have a bunch of Nancy's so I just went through what I had to kind of choose. I've had a hard time with this green. At first I thought I was going to have to rip it out, but once I put a little more of the colors in there, um, that one is Weeks Scuppernog. I like it now. I didn't at first. I thought it was too yellowy, too goldy. Um, and then the gold, this leaf up here is supposed to be a gold leaf. That one I'm using Classic Colorworks Poblano Pepper. 
I just like three greens instead of the two greens and the gold on this particular fabric. Um, this one I've worked on off and on the last week. When I hurt my elbow, I've had to do some things with my left hand and this is on an 18. So it's a little, it's a little, I'm not left handed, so it's a little too much. So that one hasn't gotten much love the last couple nights. <clears throat> Instead, this is just the right size for putting up behind everything. Instead, I pulled out my Frosted Pumpkin. This month's is these little bats, the fruit bats. So I started those. Um, I love that they're upside down. I think that's really cute. So these guys are going really quick because it's just that little space. So I should have those done tonight. Um, oh, we're going out tonight. I might not have it done tonight. We'll see. So that's what I've been working on. We're done page one. Moving right along. Um, oh, that's not all I've been working on. I fibbed. I started a punch needle. I went down to Camp Wool in Kennebunk to take one of their classes. Long story short, it didn't end up happening. There was an emergency. They had to cancel the class, so it didn't happen. Um, but there was another woman and her friend there that had driven up from Connecticut that were going to take the class. And one of them, they just kind of went as a girl's day, right? They both had done punch needle. One of them was really, really good at it. She was just there to shop and, and hang out. So when they had to cancel the class, she just showed me. It was great. It was like I had my own personal, sorry, you guys, the color. Um, I had my own personal tutor. So we were having a lot of problem with my cloth. So I worked there on just the scrap of their cloth to practice it. So then I've started this one since I've been home. Um, <clears throat> it's threads that bind. So he's getting there. I actually bought some of the Valdani's. The, um, I don't know if it's an eight or a 12, but they're the variegated. So I'm getting there. It's, it's very different um, from what I'm used to with cross stitch. I enjoy it. It's going to take me a while to get good at it. Um, I need some really sharp scissors to kind of trim up some bits down in there. But I'm starting it, so that's something else to add to my repertoire. And it was hard getting, even though it's that double frame, you have to get that so tight. And I was having a hard time really getting that drum tight. So I'll pull that one back out when my arm's feeling better. Um, Shopping-wise, or purchases... I have quite a few, but it was all kind of one purchase. <laughs> so, first of all, <clears throat> can we talk stitchy wish, stitchy wish list? I know Michelle, a couple videos ago, had, you know, reminded people about the hashtag, hashtag stitchy wish list. Um, so I put mine up, and then I was able to, like, peruse other people's. What a nice way. When you've done a pattern or you have a pattern that you're like, you know, I picked this up, but my tastes have changed and it's not really my thing, but for someone else, it's like the thing that they want. Um, so I have a chart that when I finish it, it's one I'm hoping to start this winter. It's a Lizzie Kate. It was on someone's stitchy wish list. And I said, look, I haven't done it yet, but if you don't mind waiting, I'll put your name on it. And when I'm done, I'll send it your way. Um, and then I had another woman who the only thing on her stitchy wish list was the Prairie Schooler Johnny Appleseed. And I'm like, I picked that up last year, last fall, for the original asking price of $4. So I'm like, well, I might as well grab this. You know, I might change the colors. And then, it, you know, my Prairie Schooler file is pretty big. And of all the ones in there, that was the cat. It was in the back. You know, it's like... It's an older design. It just wasn't just wasn't calling to me. So I'm like, yeah, I have that. You know, if you really want it and you want to stitch that, take it, please, because that's one thing that I know will get used. So my wish list, I had two people 
contact me and say, oh, I have that. I'm happy to send that to you. So it, it's been great. So put your wish list up. Check other people's to see if you have something that you could share. One of the things on mine, and these came from, let me get the names right. These are from Kay. Um, because I had done that acorn or was planning on starting the acorn piece and I thought they were going on that clock, I wanted this one for 4th of July. So this is always for Old Glory. Now I'll need to figure out a different way to finish them, but that's okay. And then she sent this one and she said, well, I've also done this one. So I'll send that one too. And then when I finished A is for Acorn, I said, oh, have you done that one? So I sent her that one. So we did a swap. So that was fantastic. And then the other one, this came from Lori. I put this one on there because it is on my wish list and I had no expectation of someone having it. This is Prairie Schooler Santa's Night. And Lori said she had gone to a meeting of her embroidery guild and someone was getting rid of their stash and she picked this up and I think she said she paid like 50 cents. And then she brought it home and realized I'm probably not going to stitch that. And then she saw it on my wish list. So she sent that to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I love that. So those are kind of stitchy wish list racks, gifts. Um, the other one, and this one's still in its plastic, Elizabeth at Vintage Stitches was doing a giveaway a while ago that I won, and she is sending me the entire set of the Noah's Ark. So this was the latest. I love those panels. So I need to figure out what I'm stitching these on so that I can get started. Um, so those were gifts. And then this is my haul, and this was all from um, the same seller on Stash Unload. She was listing things. So I picked up two more of the Prairie Schoolers, and this is the little one that's giving me such a hard time on the even weave. It's like it's this size. They're not that big. Uh, four and three quarters by six and an eighth, 75 by 97. Should not be taking me as long as it is. Um, so I have those two. I didn't take any of these out of the plastic. Plum Street, this is Mary 2. This one had all the floss, and I think it even has the trim. Lizzie Kate, Pair of Pilgrims. Um, and then she had some of the Bent Creek Snow Globes. These are hard for me because um, they come as a kit. And I don't really want to stitch them on the, as the kit. Like, I don't want to spend that much money when I prefer to just use my own Ada and my own floss. And these are with the pearl cotton. So I thought these were just the chart. And they were $5. Nope. Whole kit. So now I have the whole kit. And I'll have to decide if I want to use the pearl cottons or just swap them out. Um, and they're both on that green doesn't look green in the picture, but it's green. Um, so I have both of those. Over here, my setup is weird up here. I lied, I didn't buy everything in one purchase. That was my stash unload purchase. And then I picked up two things um, on Etsy. I got Mr. and Mrs. Delicious from Lindy Stitches. And I don't have a color printer. Sorry. So I have those, and then the other one I'm so excited. Um, we just lost all our light up in here. There we go. Misty from Luminous Fiber Arts has designed her first chart, and I wish I had this in color to show you because it's adorable. She called it Spooky October. It's got all the little critters and animals. Um, I love that little mouse on the end. My son loves the cat with the witch hat on. Um, and it's not that large. It's kind of, you know, a long and skinny. I thought I had the perfect frame for it, but it's not quite. It's 59 by 163. Uh, eight colors. So it won't take that long. She charted it all in DMC, but very easy if you have, um, again, I don't have the color copy, but, you know, it's blacks and purples and oranges. So if you have some of those um, in a variegated you could easily swap them out. We went through my whole list in 25 minutes. Either I talked fast 
or I didn't have as much to show as I thought I did. What else? Um, plans. I need to work on Tis the Season. I need to finish Into the Jungle, and then I haven't worked on my Guardian for September yet, so I'll do that. Um, and then I'm thinking I'm going to switch to Christmas and Winter. I probably should finish that Prairie Schooler. We'll see. We'll see if I finish that. Because it's really, it's, it's more than halfway. It's more than halfway. Um, I did pick up a Lowry stand too. Um, Jackie from Cross My Stitches. They had them on Amazon. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I looked at them last year. And they were not on Amazon and you know there's so much more expensive here in the US than over in Britain and I looked at buying one I think it was from so-and-so but with the shipping I changed my mind and I didn't do it um, but it was on Amazon and it was prime and it was a great price so I said I'm gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna do that it's taking me a while to get used to um, because I stitch on Ada, I think this is the big thing, just if anyone's considering buying one. Because I stitch on Ada, I can't do like the pin stitch or something that allows me to work from the front of my project. I have to turn it around a lot, um, especially if it's something with a lot of color changes. And on the Lowry stand, in order to do that, you know, you've got it up here and you've got to turn this button and flip it over and then end your thread and cut that off and switch your needle and then flip it back over to see where you're starting and flip it back over to, to tie it down. Um, I'm, I'm getting used to it. I hadn't also worked on it because I didn't get the extender arm in the chair that I normally sit in, the elbow chair that now I've had to move, um, has a wide arm. So it wasn't over enough for me to use my right hand. Um, when I just switched, this week I moved to the couch and that has a much narrower arm so now it's where I need it to be um, and because it was held in the stand I was able to use my left hand a little those bats have been done in my left hand which felt really really awkward <laughs> um, but it got better I think I worked on it a couple nights and I think it got better as it went on um, so I haven't done like a video. There's there's videos out there. I know Trisha, when I was looking three owl threads, um, she had just bought one and she did a great video. There's Pepper of putting hers all together and, and you know and how easy it was and how to use it. Um, so I watched hers. So I think if you're if you're an even weaver or a linen and you can use the pin stitch and work more from the front, that it would be a lot easier for you. Um, and, and worth the investment, so something to keep in mind. She's on that ratty chair, that's why I kept it in here. If we get a cat tree, they'll never use it. They'll be like, that's nice. Where's my ratty chair? Where's my sunbeam on the carpet? Where's the middle of your workspace? Um, I haven't still been watching a lot of Floss 2. Just put herself around. Um, what I have been able to watch, I haven't always been able to comment, so I'm, I'm catching up especially now that school's back, that will be a little easier um, to maybe watch one with my lunch or something during the day. She's going to open the closet. Don't open the closet. Crazy cats. I told them not to open the closet. Oh, you guys don't normally see both of them. This one, this room is on the second floor, so it's right kind of up in the trees, and they like that. And I don't know if you can tell because it's so blown out by the light, but there's like a hundred pieces of tape on that window that have been there so long, I don't know how I'm going to get them off. I'm either going to have to use a razor blade or some goo gone. It's going to be a process, which is why it hasn't been done yet. Um, so I'm going to keep stitching on like the monthlies this month into the season. I have a lot of sewing I need to do. That cabinet is two whole shelves of inner fabric and I have some bags to make that I want to send out. Um, oh, I was going to... Last video I showed all that cool stuff I got at um, Goodwill and I was going to share some of that, but I forgot to grab it. And quite frankly, I don't know where it is <laughs> to just grab it quickly. Um, so next video, we'll do some giveaways to share some things. Um, I think that's it. 
I'm actually already starting to plan for next year, as crazy as that sounds. I have a couple pieces that are bigger. I was thinking next year I might do, am I the only one that starts thinking about what you're gonna stitch next year, like in August? It means I have too much stuff. Um, it might be like bigs and smalls. So I have a few pieces that are multi-part. I don't wanna sign up for another sale next year so that I can use that as my sale. I wanna do Lizzie Kate's Tingles. So I've been kidding that up. I think I just have fabric left to go. Um, Country Cottage, Santa's Village. I bought this really cool frame last year. It's actually a mirror from Goodwill. That's I'll have to adapt to that one a little bit in order to make it fit, um, but it can be done. So those are the kind of the two big ones. And then I have my cool bowl that my, my fake dough bowl, my electrocuted awesome dough bowl, um, it's empty. Actually, it's not totally empty. Yesterday, Emmy was in it. So now it's full of cat hair um, that I think I really need to focus on working like a season ahead to fill that up for next year. Um, I have one big summer piece done. I just need to do the, I need to finish it. Do some little ones. That's what I thought Mr. and Mrs. Delicious would be good with is for in the bowl. Um, along with a couple hands-on designs that I've had. Um, so that's that. And Priscilla's new pumpkin piece with Kathy. You know that's getting done. Probably not this year for fall, but if I have it ready to go, again, if I work a season ahead, the spring piece I did, I figure I can leave up spring and summer. It's fine for both. And then fall will need its own piece. And I can't wait to see what they do with winter, too, because I'm, I'm imagining the colors in winter will be blues and greens and, and pretty. All right, I'm done rambling. I'm just so happy that school's in. It's quiet. Can we listen to the quiet? I hear a cricket in that clock. Mm. I always forget this one has a skunk on the bottom. There's a potter. Um, I have a bunch of these. I have three. I have a fox and a rabbit and my chickens. Um, she's fantastic. She does a fox one too. I'll link her below in case anyone's interested because she does sell stuff on her Etsy store. I usually use the chickens because this one is like an inch too big to fit comfortably in my Keurig. I have to take the bottom piece out. All right, you guys. Have a great weekend. Uh, we don't have many plans this weekend. It's supposed to get down to like 68 or something one day, which is gonna be fantastic. Um, so I'm excited for fall. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.